So when we think about serialization, especially from a manufacturer's perspective, there are three phases of maturity or the, the, the stages that they follow. The first one is to realize why are we doing this? We are doing this because there are counterfeit drugs in the market, the patient safety is at risk, and countries are taking action by putting legislations in place so pharmaceutical companies can implement measures to make the drug supply chain a more secure supply chain so the patients get the, the real medicine instead of counterfeits. Right? So when you ask yourself, why are we doing this? It's patient safety, it's supply chain security, and ultimately making the pharmaceutical supply chain a more secure supply chain that we know where our products are and how to trace them along the supply chain. So then the next question becomes after you convince yourself that you know, this is why we are doing this, so how to do this? So this is a very big problem. The pharmaceutical uh, companies are going through a major transformation right now. This is the first time some companies are investing in information technology in their packaging lines, packaging operations. So when you look at the overall program, you realize it's such a massive program that you need to invest in packaging lines, you need to invest in site IT systems, you need to invest in enterprise level IT systems, even to technology that you can communicate your data uh, between your trading partners. This costs millions of dollars for even the, the smallest uh, pharmaceutical manufacturer. So the, small, the simplest uh, strategy is to start early, ramp up your resources and, and try to finish on time. Then planning right, planning and having a good strategy is the second most important strategy. We can't emphasize enough how Putting a good strategy in place is important so that you know where you're going and you know how much it's going to cost, how much resources you need, and uh, the, how long it's going to take. Right? Once you know uh, your strategy, then uh, of course a good execution is important. One important risk factor in the pharmaceutical industry is that there is a, a very large demand. Thousands of manufacturers, even more wholesalers and pharmacies but very few suppliers, very few hardware suppliers, very few software suppliers, highly limited talent, consultants who have done this before. So there's a big imbalance of demand and supply. So starting early will also ensure that you get the right talent, right suppliers on time and secure the capacity to deliver on this project. Once everything is over, once we implement this technology, then of course you ask, what is my return on investment? There is not much return on investment if you don't think beyond compliance. Compliance is the bare minimum that majority of the industry is going after. But if you think beyond compliance, you would realize that pharmaceutical companies achieve a much better supply chain visibility. They can achieve a, a higher control on how their uh, products flow through the supply chain. And the data that they generate by tracing individual products is a data, is what I call the big data of the pharmaceutical industry. So with this big data, there's unprecedented level of opportunities. It's waiting for the pharmaceutical industry. So don't be a, a company that is only shooting for compliance. That's the bare minimum. Think beyond compliance and find those data insights, those supply chain visibility and supply chain collaboration opportunities that differentiates you from the competition. And therefore, you can position yourself in the new world, the world that is beyond track and trace compliance deadlines, as a leader in the market that captures more market share and more opportunities.